Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Tarot Card Tricks and today we're going to learn two mentalism effects. What is mentalism? Mentalism is either being able to predict the future or read somebody's mind. Okay? Ooh. And we're going to do uh, both of these tricks with a little stack of cards. I got four cards here and I'll actually do the tricks for you. Okay? So we'll do the tricks, we'll do them through the screen. And then afterwards I'll teach you how the trick goes. All right? Are you ready? Okay, I've got four cards here. I want you to look at each one, okay? First one is the nine of diamonds. I'll put it right there. Then I have the four of hearts. I'll put it right there. Queen of hearts. I'll put it right here. Ace of diamonds, right there. And then the seven of clubs. I'll put right there, okay? Now you can see all the cards. I want you to think of one. I want you to think of one of these cards. Don't let me influence you in any way. Think of one of those cards. You got it? Are you sure? All right. I'm going to try to read your thoughts through the screen. And I think you're thinking of this card right here. The Four of Hearts. Did I get it right? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, let's do something different. Okay, do me a favor and I want you to think of a number between one and a hundred. Okay, think of a number between one and a hundred, any number at all. Now, I want you to think of how many letters are in that word. So, let's say you thought of the number 50. 50 has five letters, F-I-F-T-Y. So now you have a new number, okay? You have a new number. I want you to think of how many letters are in that word. And you should have a new number. Now think about how many letters are in that word. And you should have a new number. Think about how many letters are in that word. And you should have a new, it's the same, same number. You've had the same number, what, how many times in a row? Twice? Three times. Twice. You're thinking of a new number right now? What's the number? Say it out loud. What? Four? The answer should be four. Right? Yep. So that was two uh, tricks with the number four. Right? And the way that works is the first time through, maybe you'll get it right, maybe you won't. Hopefully, we get the spectator to think of the number four, but they might, may or may not. I would think more often than not, they are going to. I think more times than not, they will think of the four, and the reason is because of how you laid the cards on the table. Find these cards. Find the four of hearts, the ace of diamonds, the nine of diamonds, the seven of clubs, and the queen of hearts. All right, so when you lay the cards out, the first card you're going to lay out is the nine of diamonds, okay? And you're going to lay that one first, right, on their left. Then the second card is going to be your force card, which is the four of hearts. Spectators usually will pick second from the end, okay? Second from the end, not the actual end, but second from the end. Because the middle card is the queen of hearts, and that just seems way too obvious, right? One lone court card, smack dead center. They won't go for that. The ace of diamonds goes next. The ace seems too similar to the queen. There's a high card, right? They probably won't go for the high card. And then you have one lone black card. Well, that seems too obvious too. You're going to pick the one black card out of all the reds. So their attention is really driving towards that four of hearts right now. Because like I said, spectators usually pick second from the end. And just because this ace and this queen are right next to each other probably eliminates them. Being the only black eliminates this. And the first card on the end, well, that seems too obvious too. So more often than not, they're going to pick the four of hearts. So you can do both of these tricks back to back because they both use the four. Even if you get it wrong, that's okay. I don't want you to think that that four getting it wrong is bad, okay? If you show them all these cards and you say, okay, the card I think you're thinking of is the four of hearts. 
if they say no, say, oh, well, it was a one in it was a one in five shot, and reading minds is hard. Let's try something else. That's that's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Okay? You don't have to fret, you don't have to dwell on it. Then what I do is I pick all the cards up like this and give them a quick shuffle so they don't remember which order the cards were in. And I'm gonna look for that four again, remove it, and lay it down and put the others off the side. And now I'm ready to force the number four. Okay? And you do that exactly how I said. All right? Pick a number between one and a hundred. So let's say they picked 50. How many letters are in 50? F I F T Y. Five. How many letters are in five? Four. How many letters are in four? Four. So it will always go back to four. If they didn't get the four the first time, they're definitely going to get the four the second time. And then you can say, I knew you were thinking of four. Or if you got the four the first time and the second time, well, then it's a double whammy using the same magical card. The number four. Have a lot of fun with those two mentalism tricks and practice every day. Make sure you come back to learn some new magic here at Magic Channel Card Tricks. This is a channel that I created so that you could learn beginning level magic. Have fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.